That's all she wrote for Syracuse men's lacrosse. On senior day inside the Dome, the Orange hosted number 7 Notre Dame, and while they played them closer this time around, they just couldn't get the job done, falling 18-11 to to the Fighting Irish. And the loss dropped Syracuse's record to 4-10 and on the year, and it's the first time in program history that the Orange have finished with double-digit losses. After the game, though, head coach Gary Gate says the loss and record isn't indicative of SU's will this year. Unfortunately... The record is what it is and, and kind of defines our year. But I think it doesn't show the, the effort and the work that these players put in to try and have success. Syracuse midfielder Brendan Curry entered the game with 92 career goals, one away from tying his father Todd, who had 93 in his career back in the 80s. Curry scored the first, and when he scored the second to pass his father, turned and pointed to him up in the stands behind me. After the game, Curry recounted how special a moment that was. It was probably one of the coolest moments of my life, being able to look up at him. Um, he's the reason I'm here at Syracuse. Uh, he's the reason I'm wearing this number. Um, and uh, he's taught me everything I know about the game, so to be able to look up at him and you know, share that moment in my last game ever um, was, was extremely, extremely cool and, and something I'll definitely remember about this game for the rest of my life. Today's game marks SU's last for the 2022 season. The Orange will miss the postseason for the first time since 2007. Citrus TV's coverage of lacrosse doesn't stop here, though. Women's lacrosse still has an NCAA tournament to play. Be sure to follow along at Ian Nicholas 25 throughout the postseason for updates. Reporting from the Dome, Braden Reed, Citrus TV.